Thank you for joining me for this brief look at an interesting chart. Before we get to the chart, let's back up and think about what it means to make an investment. Investing always requires a relative decision. So if we're deciding whether to buy a stock or not, we're deciding between A and B, basically. Should we buy the stock, choice A, or should we hold cash, choice B? If we're looking at two different stocks, again, it's an A or B choice. Investing always comes down to deciding between A or B. Success results if we select the alternative that delivers the better performance. Investing success is designed in relative terms, and relative strength is a useful indicator for that. Now, relative strength compares one investment to another, and it's looking for which one is performing stronger. We can view this as a ratio. For example, we can take the historical daily price changes of one security and divide those price changes day by day to develop a ratio going back in time. This allows us to compare, for example, emerging stocks to US stocks. Now, the goal of that analysis would be to identify the stronger and to hold it until it becomes weaker. That leads us to today's chart. Relative strength analysis tells us to look at emerging markets as a potential buy. Now, fundamentally, emerging markets are among the cheapest in the world. Technically, we've got a buy signal. That means we're combining momentum and value. In the chart, this is a ratio of the ETF called EEM compared to the S&P 500 index. As you can see, the S&P 500 index outperformed from 2010 until last year. And the outperformance is indicated by the rising line. So when the line is rising, EEM, the numerator in our ratio, is outperforming. When the line is declining, the S&P 500 in this case is outperforming. So after a long downtrend, we broke through the downtrend last year. After breaking through the downtrend, we're still at a very low level. So we wanted to wait for confirmation. Confirmation comes from a new 52 week high. And we see that that's occurred late last year. We then had what's called a test or a throwback where the ratio got thrown back to the lower level bounced off of that resistance line, which in this case was support, and is now moving higher again. All of this adds up to a strong chart for EEM and tells us that technical analysis points to buying EEM right now to potentially participate in years long of an uptrend. As you see, the most recent uptrends lasted seven years. The previous uptrend lasted four years. So these trends, once they're established, tend to go on for a long time. This could be a great investment idea for a long-term buy and hold investor in addition to a trader. That's all I have. Thanks for joining me.